Thanks everyone for coming out for the 21st anniversary of our Claymont Christmas week. And my name is Bobak Kogulab, I'm a member of Claymont Lions. And I'd like to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, give us a sign of appreciation for some of the people who have helped us put this together. To Mike Elder and the Claymont Fire Police and all the surrounding Okay, try again. To Mike Elder and Claymont Fire Police and all the surrounding Fire Police Association who donated their time to set up the parade and guide us with the traffic through them. The Claymont Fire, the Claymont Fire Company and for the use of their meeting rooms and for the guide and for the escorting Santa in the parade. Very important. To all the fire companies who donate their, their time. Speak louder. Oh, okay, forget it. <laughs> to, all the, to all the fire companies who donated their time and fire equipment in the parade. To Barbara Harbin for extremely valuable help in you know, help organizing the parade. To the Claymont Lions Club for organizing and producing the parade this year. To Rick Jensen for being our MC and keeping the ceremony short and festive. And without further ado, Rick Jensen. I want to thank the, uh, the, the fearless 13. That was awesome. And the Lions Club. The Lions Club has done a great job keeping the parade going so well. Give a big round of applause. Awesome. And, and I, I'm embarrassed to say I've only been here, maybe a part of this in some way, for 20 of the 21 years. I'm a carpetbagger. And thanks for all of you who are being here. It's amazing. It's a great time. I love the Christmas weed. We'll uh, get into the blessing a little bit. We want to thank some of our uh, politicians here. Uh, I don't know if you want to say a word, but if you do, if the politicians want to say a word, I do have a rule. You have to keep it within 30 seconds. Mine will be shorter. And I have my stopwatch. Please, first, John Cartier, would you like to say a couple words? Thank you, Rick. It's great to be here again, once again, where we reenact this decorating of the weed every year, where we celebrate the resilience and the humor of Claymont. I'm glad to be part of this. This is my 16th year. And thank you to the Claymont Lions Club for taking this on and continuing the tradition. And I want to thank all the first responders who are out there today to protect us and organize the crowd. It was a great day. I look forward to this holiday season. Happy New Year, everybody. God bless America. Thank you. Claim on. Yeah. 28.68 seconds. Right, John Cartier, everybody. D. Durham, is, uh, I understand D. Durham is here. Would you like to say a word? No? We want to say a couple words? I'll give you five seconds. Go. She's really glad to be here. She loves Claymont. Everybody get out and vote as many times as you can. Thank you, Dieter. Okay. Uh, Ray Sigfield, I think, is here. There we go. Good afternoon. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody to Claymont. Thank the Lions Club for taking on this very, very important role. Have a happy holiday. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, who would like to take the rest of his 23 seconds? I think I will. To thank our sponsors. You can't do this without sponsors, right? So, how about a big thank you every time you, every time I say a sponsor. I'll go like this. Big Mark Detailing. Yeah. Brandy White Warriors Cheerleading. Yeah. Fox Point Cal Ripken Babe Ruth. Yeah. Friends of the Claymont Library. Yeah. The Right Choice Child Care. Yeah. Blue Hen Car Wash. Yeah. You're so enthusiastic. <laughs> It's like Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Yay. You don't know it, Netflix it. Delaware Moving and Storage, Cows of Delaware. Frank Anderson. Order of the Eastern Star. Senator Kathy Cloutier. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you to Delaware Digital Video Factory. Every year, they take out their valuable time, and they edit this, and they put it online, and they hand out the C the DVDs. Fantastic. Uh, also, thank you to Reva Brown of Stone School for submitting all the Claymont holiday events and producing the flyer Naaman's Beverage Mart, 109 Nate Raymond's Road for all your beverage needs. 
featuring the parade info on their electronic sign. Uh, WDEL, WSTW, thank you for paying my paycheck every two weeks. Um, we also, look, we talk about Claymont and uh, Claymont and, and advertising you guys are doing all year long. We're just really proud to be a part of what you're doing in Claymont, and thank you very, very much. And Signscape for updating the yard signs at no cost. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to bless that which has become so emblematic of Claymont, it was awesome. It's just growing right there on the highway. Somebody puts an ornament on it. Someone puts some tinsel on it. It's a big joke. A couple years, people steal it. They take it away. But this town is so resilient. We've had our ups. We've had our downs. The big steel factory. And then that goes away. And now, you know, we've got people living here or commuting into the city and into uh, Philadelphia. There is a great resurgence going on. Claymont has been, I think, for the last 15, 20 years. Give yourselves a round of applause because your community is awesome. Love, Claymont, and ladies and gentlemen, we need to bring in Pastor Ketlin Solak to bless. This is very dramatic, right? The weed. Well, good morning, Claymont. Good morning. Good morning. This is particularly special today because today is Delaware Day. What a better, I mean, it could not be a better day to have this parade and this special event from Claymont for the people and with the people of Claymont on Delaware Day. So we're going to get, ask God's blessing for all of Delaware and especially for Claymont. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for our wonderful state of Delaware and for this particular community here in Claymont for all the people who live and serve right here. We ask for your blessing on this special day on all of our state and our country, but especially for the people, the community of Claymont, which does show so much resilience and passion and uh, a great sense of community spirit. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we need these quiet moments just between ourselves, between announcements. Does anybody have um, a, an ornament yes. and a dedication for the weed? Yes. Well, come on up here, please. Friends of Claymont Library uh, would like to invite you to come and visit with Santa Claus at 12 noon or as soon as he uh, is able to um, get up there after the parade. And at one o'clock, we shall have a concert, a woodwind concert of seasonal music. I hope you'll come and join us. <laughs> Anybody else like to make an announcement and dedication for your uh, ornament decoration for the weed? No announcements. We're just going to. Hello, I'm representing Claymont AARGP Chapter 175. We meet on the second Thursday of the month at Atonement Church and we welcome everyone to come to the meetings there. It's lots of fun and you meet new friends and people. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Yay! Anyone else? And now, the high point of the ceremony. The concert. It's the concert. A few years ago, Andy McGee was very, very bored. And so he wrote a song about the Claymont Weed. It's become a thing of legend, though, though the song as well. Andy, who would like to uh, start start off with this? There we go. All right, thanks, Rick. Uh, I, I wrote this song in 2001, and we've been singing it for many years now. And I'm glad to see many of you have copies, so please join in. Okay? On a concrete island on an overpass, a crack appeared, then a blade of grass. The wind blew up and bore a seed, and in that crack there grew a weed. A weed, a weed, a bonny, bonny weed. It grew to maturity from a seed. It's a miracle, they say, oh yes indeed. And it happened right there in Claymont. Now the weed grew up while all around 
Conditions were so harsh on that fallow ground Through a concrete barrier the stock it came But our bonnie wee wee, it flourished just the same The same, the same, it flourished just the same And slowly but slowly grew its fame It's a miracle they say And we'll make the claim that it happened right there in Claymont Throughout December our wheat survived it not only grew, but began to thrive. The townsfolk all were so impressed that they shouted out loud, This town is blessed, blessed, blessed. This town is blessed. With joyful sound, each one confessed. It's a miracle, they say, and none could have guessed that it happened right there in Claymont. Some folk decided both there and then to decorate the weed and start a trend by hanging lights and decorations too the christmas wheat reputation grew it grew it grew its reputation grew to the christmas wheat fame did accrue it's a miracle they say and out of the blue it happened right there in blame on thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. God bless. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And that's really all we have to say. Anything else? The DVD. See the boys in the back if you want a DVD. If you'd like a DVD of uh, was it last year's parade, yes. right? Of last year's parade. See the guys right there in the back. And if you... How soon will you guys have DVDs of this year's parade? Yeah, it'll, it'll walk. Next parade? Yeah, okay. Don't call the office. You don't. They don't have any it's there. All, I know. Claymont all right. Oh, ClaymontChristmasParade.com. Exactly. And thanks to everybody and all the organizers. Big round of applause, to everybody who made this possible. Seriously. I, I, oh, look, I made joke around. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Every engineer knows how to fix this. You smack it a few times. No, I know. I, I told a couple of jokes, and actually, uh, Andy McGee was, was not bored. He was actually a, a lifelong love of uh, this community. He loves Claymont, and it was, and it, it truly is, an act of love when he put together the song, and people sing it, some with la laughter, and always, so the great, deep appreciation of Claymont. So, so God bless you. Merry Christmas.